Hey everyone, Chris here for Tomans Guitars and Basses. In today's Master Your Tone episode, I want to talk about the Gibson acoustic model names. It can be a little confusing, right? J35, 45, 55. What are the differences between a dove and a hummingbird? What is a southern jumbo and what is a super jumbo? Let's talk about it in today's episode. Let's start with the least confusing model, the L00. The L00 is a smaller body size, so don't expect huge, huge volume, but you'll get a really sweet sound and a very nice note separation, mid-range, all those cool things. On this model, Gibson uses their own scale length, which is shorter. This is the one you know from the Les Pauls. You get mahogany back and sides, a Sitka spruce top, mahogany neck, and a rosewood board. All right, let's talk about the Advanced Jumbo series, the J35, 45, and 55. These are called jumbos, but they're not as big as those jumbos that you know, right? These were the biggest acoustic guitars, that's why Gibson named them jumbos, but of course, they are closest to like a dreadnought guitar, even though the shape is different, so don't expect the J35, 45, and 55 to sound like dreadnoughts. Now, the differences between the 35, 45, and 55 are mostly visual. For example, the type of pick guard, the, uh, the bridge, shape of the bridge, especially, and also a nut width, which can be different, not necessarily, but there will be some functional differences as well, such as the tuners, of course, how vintage they look, which era they represent, but don't expect huge differences between these. And for some further confusion, there is a model called Southern Jumbo, which is essentially a J model, an advanced jumbo, just with some different visuals, for example, on the headstock, different inlays, etc. Let's talk about the Hummingbird and the Dove. These two models look kind of similar, except for the visuals, of course. The pig guards are gonna be different, the bridge will look different, but other than that, you could expect these two to have the exact same sizes, etc. but there are two very important differences. The first big difference is gonna be the scale length. The Hummingbird has the same shorter, so-called Gibson scale length as all the other acoustic guitars that I played until now. It's gonna be the same as what you have on a Les Paul, etc. The Dove has a 25.5 inch scale length, which is longer. It's gonna influence the playing feel for sure. And the other difference is gonna be the wood selection. The Hummingbird has mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck with rosewood board and a spruce top. The Dove has maple back and sides with the spruce top and the mahogany neck with the rosewood board.
This is the songwriter cutaway model, which is, well, it's, it's much more of a, a real dreadnought, if you know what I mean. It's not too square, it's not too round here at the, uh, the front. And uh, you'll get, this is new, you'll get rosewood back and sides on the body, mahogany neck, uh, rosewood board, and the Sitka spruce top. This is definitely the most modern acoustic guitar Gibson makes, so if you're into those kind of specs, Cut away for more access at the upper frets, the longer scale length, 25.5 inch. Uh, this is probably the right guitar. And now let's talk about the actual jumbo, the super jumbo, the SJ200. This is the shape that we all know when we think about a jumbo guitar. It has a lot of volume, a lot of low end, uh, not a lot of mid range compared to the bigness, the, the, those really low frequencies, which also get helped by the, uh, the maple back and sides. It's uh, even flame maple, so it's really pretty as well. Maple neck. Rosewood board and a Sitka spruce top. You'll get the long scale length as well, 25.5 inch, and a kind of a narrow nut, which just gives you that perfect strumming guitar. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to tell you which is the right model for which kind of player. Everyone wants something else and even though you might be a strummer, you might want the smallest one, the L00. Or even though you're a finger picker, you just want the jumbo and it's totally fine. The only thing that is kind of interesting and should be considered is that if you want more volume, you should go for a bigger body size. And with all that tone talk aside, what really matters is enjoy playing the guitar regardless of the rig and how good it sounds. See you in the next one. Thank you.